Hello, this is Elliot Schlissel, foreclosure defense lawyer. Today we're going to talk about the dead borrower issue. In a case in Westchester County before Judge William Giacomo, who sits in a foreclosure part, U.S. Bank had brought a foreclosure lawsuit. In, the case, in this case, they claimed that they wanted a summary judgment. Summary judgment is a motion requesting a foreclosure order without the need for a trial. They claim the homeowner, Iceman, who actually was dead at the time they brought the summary judgment motion, did not make his mortgage payments. An estate was formed for dead man Iceman. The executive of the estate claimed the estate didn't receive the appropriate notice the home was going into foreclosure. Under Real Property Actions and Proceedings Law Section 1304, before a home goes into foreclosure, the financial institution must give 90 days notice to the homeowner prior to bringing the foreclosure lawsuit. Justice G Giacomo found the 90-day notice requirement under Real Property Actions and Proceedings Law Section 1304 only applied to living persons, not estates. Because Eisman was dead, he did not have to be served at the cemetery, and the executor of the estate also did not have to be served. Judge Giacomo's rationale was since the borrower was dead, there was no longer a notice requirement which needed to be given to this borrower. He therefore ruled that Real Property Actions and Proceedings Law Section 1304 no longer applied. Now it should be pointed out when someone dies an estate is created. The executor, if there is a will, and the administrator, if there is no will, actually stands in the shoes of the dead homeowner. If there was an obligation that was owed to the dead homeowner to provide 90 days notice, why shouldn't this also apply to the estate of the decedent? I believe this judge's decision was inappropriate. And if the case is, was taken up on appeal, it would have been set aside. This is Elliot Schlissel, foreclosure defense lawyer, signing off.